problem number eight is asking us to find the interval of convergence for the power series. And it gives us a power series, summation n equals 5 to infinity, x plus 6 to the n over n times natural log of n. So, to go ahead and find the interval of convergence, let's go ahead and apply, well, we can apply ratio or root test in this case. We can't apply geometric series, like, test, because n ln of n doesn't fit into a geometric series. So ratio or root test is probably the best way to go about this. In this case, I think I'm just going to go ahead and apply root test to it. So root test says that the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of a sub n. And in this case, I know what my a sub n is. I know what its absolute value is. I don't have to get rid of any negatives or anything. So if I go ahead and take the nth root of that, I have x plus 6 to the n divided by n natural log of n, and that's all to a 1 over n. And of course, I'm also taking the limit as n approaches infinity of that term. So if I go ahead and I apply this, I end up with the limit as n approaches infinity of x plus 6, n, over one, n to the 1 over n, that becomes just a power of 1. So this whole thing is now to a power of 1. n to the 1 over n, a natural log of n to the 1 over n. So both of these terms, if you think back to the exam 2 material, both of these terms have limits of 1. As long as n is to a 1 over n and natural log of n is to a 1 over n, the limits of those as n approaches infinity is always 1. So this whole bottom part is just 1. And of course I'm still taking the absolute value, so I shouldn't forget that. So now what I'm left with is I'm left with x plus 6 absolute value is less than 1. So my x is to a 1 coefficient, and there is no external power. So my radius of convergence in this case is just going to be 1. But we're looking for interval of convergence. So let's take this one step further, and let's see if we can find the interval. So according to the rules of absolute value, I can put in a positive or a negative value and still get the same answer. So what I can do is I can actually expand this into an interval. I can say negative 1 is less than x plus 6 is less than 1. And if I go ahead and subtract over my 6, I can get x by itself with negative 7 is less than x is less than negative 5. Now, I have the terms for my interval. But what I need to check is now I need to check if whether or not the endpoints are inclusive or exclusive. And the way you do that is you plug in to your original series and you see whether or not you get uh, brackets or parentheses. Um, and again, that's going to be based off of using the rules from exam 2, all of the different series tests that you had to apply. So these are x values. So first off, I'm going to start by plugging in x equals negative 7. So by plugging in x equals negative 7 into the series, I end up getting n equals 5 to infinity of negative 1 to the n divided by n natural log of n. So it leaves me with an alternating series in this case. So with an alternating series, I can actually apply alternating series tests to it to figure out if it converges or diverges. Well, alternating series test says that as long as 1 over n natural log of n is uh, has a limit as n approaches infinity of 0, and it's decreasing over time, this series should be convergent. Well, the bottom is growing faster than the top as n approaches infinity, so it is 0. And because the bottom is also growing faster than the top, it should be decreasing as well. So in this case, I'm going to say that for negative 7, we actually write brackets around it because it is inclusive, because this converges by alternating series test. Now, for the other side, we plug in x equals negative 5. So we have n equals 5 to infinity of 1 to the n over n natural log of n. So this is no longer an alternating series because when we plugged in negative 5, 6 minus 5 is equal to 1. 1 to the n is just going to be 1 for all time. So what we're really looking at is we're really looking at the series of 1 over n natural log of n. And we need to figure out whether or not that converges or diverges. So this series itself actually converges, or diverges rather, by integral test. So if we go ahead and apply integral test to it, natural log of x dx, 
I can go ahead and do a u substitution. u equals natural log of x, du equals 1 over x dx. This ends up becoming 5 to infinity of du over u, and that's equal to natural log of u, which is in turn equal to natural log of natural log of x. Evaluated from 5 to infinity. When I evaluate this, as x approaches infinity, I end up getting infinity. Because I don't get a finite number for the result of my integral, this series is divergent. So on the right-hand side, I'm going to say that parentheses go around it. And this is because 1 over n natural log of n is divergent by integral test. So, we found our interval of convergence. It is inclusive to negative 7. It is exclusive to negative 5. So that gives us the answer of A for problem number 8. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Resource Center.